Hello, this is Miss Novikowski from My Home to Yours, and today we're going to learn how to play a math game called Place the Digits. I learned it originally from my very first edition of a book by Marilyn Burns called About Teaching Mathematics. Uh, for this game, you'll need a game board divided into columns for hundreds, tens, and ones, and then a digit that you're going to discard. You don't need to have this printed on paper. I'm going to use a whiteboard today to play with my partner, and we'll each have our little uh, records or game boards on here. And most people at home will not have a 10-sided dice. So today we are using a 10-section spinner with the digits from zero to nine. Okay, to play place the digits, um, you have a spinner or a dice. In this case, we have a spinner and we're gonna start by spinning a digit. So put that in the center and the first digit we spin as one. So me, this is my side and my partner need to decide where to place the one. And so I'm gonna choose to place the one in the ones column and my partner's deciding to discard the one. They're not gonna use that one. So you have one discard, and once you write the numbers down, you can't uh, change them. You have to sort of commit to placing your number at that spot. So you spin your next digit, and this time it's a three. And so I'm going to choose to put my, hmm, I'm gonna discard my three, and my partner is going to put it in their one spot. And the goal of this game is to make uh, the greatest or largest number possible with the digits that you spin. Oh, so we rolled, spun a nine. Um, I'm gonna put it in the hundreds column here and I'm, my partner's gonna do the same thing because nine is the largest digit and so this will help to create the largest number. And then for our last spin, you could pause at this spot and think, you know, what number could we get? Um, in this case, both my partner and I have our tens open, so we're gonna both be placing it there. And we've rolled or spun a two. So mine will go in the tens and my partner's will go in the tens as well. And then each person reads out their numbers. So I spun 921 and my partner spun 923. And then you compare the numbers and whoever has the greater number wins that round of the game. 